Well, tomorrow wraps National School Bus Safety Weekend. One local school spent part of the morning helping their young students understand how to be safe. We have details about what they did from Color 10's Crystal Blair live in Branson. Now, Crystal. Well, Jen, this morning at Cedar Ridge Elementary in Branson, school officials conducted their safe riders workshop for their kindergartners where they learned the do's and the don'ts inside and outside of that school bus. It was cold and rainy. What does bus safety mean, though? But that didn't hinder the school bus safety drill at Branson Cedar Ridge Elementary. That's right. We don't ever go behind the bus. So we take this time to uh, uh, hone in on that and really try to drive home that the kids need, need to stay away from that danger zone area around the bus and how to cross the bus properly. Don't cross. And why? Because you'll get ran over. Training also included identifying the danger zone, <laughs> sitting properly inside the bus, and being kind to one another, even the driver. You don't want to distract the driver. Because the bus driver might get distracted. Transportation Director Rob Watson talked about their most common accident. A child not sitting in their seat right, and so they're, they're not positioned to be able to ride the bus safely. And maybe, maybe as the bus is going around a turn or something like that, they, they, may, they may fall, and they're going to they're gonna get a bump or a bruise. But that's your, probably your most common accident on a bus. School officials say that students are at greatest risk for injury or death outside of the bus. The number of accidents that happen outside the bus are very, very few when you when you look at the overall number. So it wouldn't be a common thing at all. It's just that's the, that's the biggest one that's going to happen. And understanding how not to get hurt. Not going in the danger zone. Not going in the danger zone. And why? Because you might get hit. Do we ever go behind the bus? No! Is the key for these little ones. Now, this was all, of course, a part of a national school bus safety week, and they do hold it annually, and it's for kindergartners through third graders. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. Crystal, Jen, and I are jealous that you got to talk to those cute kids today. This